Brand spanking new. I can't believe that piece of junk turned into this. I love stuff like this. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Bob sold me a spark plug cleaner from the 1930s that was in really rough shape. And then I paid him to restore it. Hey, you want to see what a, what a champion this guy is? It's definitely cool, Bob. The Alfred Champion Spark Plug Company and this champion restored it. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. I had to mix up this color special. It was hard to mix up. And then Media Blasted it. Did all the body work on here. This piece was missing, if you remember, so I made one out of steel. Plus, all these graphics here are, are hand-painted. This is aluminum, so when I painted it, I scratched through the lettering so it would show up in the aluminum. I mean, it looks awesome. I have no doubt in my mind we could sell it, but listening to this guy say champion is going to kill me. <laughs> When I gave this gas pump to Rick, it was virtually worthless. Now it's all finished, done. Rick told me I wouldn't even recognize it. I'm gonna go see what I got. Holy sh! That is nice. That is cool. A little different than when you saw it before, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah, it's way different. When I saw the gas pump, it was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe it was the same pump. All this trim up here was all painted and, and pitted. So we ended up repolishing all that, put your new glasses in here. Most of the parts on this thing are all original. The only ones that are not original is this is a reproduction plate, and this is a reproduction globe. Everything else is totally original on it. Uh, how much it cost me to fix it? Right around 2,500. That gas pump is a beauty. It really is. It's something I really want to bring home. I love stuff like this. I would just love gas to be 32 cents a gallon again. Yeah. <laughs> you and me both. A few days ago, me and Chum dropped the Pac-Man machine off to get repaired. I really hope it's working, because if it's not, we're going to lose money on it. Nice to see you again. See ya. The top looked horrible when I brought it in, man. Is this brand new, or is you were able to fix the old one, or? Brand spanking new. But that's just the cosmetic artwork to it. Back in the day, people were actually able to hack the board and take a Pac-Man and make it a Ms. Pac-Man because Ms. Pac-Man was far more popular. And so we had to convert it back to a Pac-Man. So what was the total cost after all said and done fixing this thing? Well, we're looking at about 350, right where I said before. What do you think we could get out of it? I think you should be able to get an easy thousand to twelve hundred dollars for it. Okay. Oh, he's gonna need to improve before he plays me. I don't even know if you're gonna pass the first level. A few weeks ago, I brought my sweet 1955 barber chair to my buddy Rick to get fixed up, and now I'm on my way to pick it up. Whoa. I can't believe that piece of junk turned into this. Oh, it looks great. Believe it or not, this has over 200 pieces. We had to take half the pieces and send them to the nickel plating shop to get it nickel plated. And then we had to take the upholstery and send it all out to get upholstered. And then we painted the base. Did you fix all the hydraulics? Yeah, all the hydraulics got redone. Was there a lot of hair in there? <laughs> yeah, there was tons. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was yours. <laughs> Uh, so the big question, how much does this thing cost me? Well, to do all the nickel plating and the leather and the base, it's going to be $2,500. OK, so what do you think I can get out of it? You should have no problem getting $6,500 for this chair. All right, sounds like a deal to me. We'll try it out. Uh, oh, yeah. God, I miss my hair. Months ago, I called a couple of buddies who were great at picking stuff, but I might have gone a little bit overboard buying a 57 Chevy for my dad's 70th birthday. Frank and Mike really came through. Rick Dale and the Count have been working overtime to get it restored, and today's the day. I just hope it's ready. I cannot wait to see his face. Damn it, Rick. We just got to pick something up real quick. Surprise! Happy birthday. It's a 57 Chevy 150. That is one beautiful car. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You have no idea what a challenge this thing was to make a car look like this. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. But we got cake for you. Screw the cake. Woo! Rick is a great son, but I was expecting chicken wings. He can be a cheap SOB.